Hi, it's Trisha the Paper Craft Tutor again. Okay, I'm redoing this video because I made mistakes in the first one. I kept calling that an eyelet, and I know it's a brad, but my brain wouldn't figure that out. So anyway, this is what we're making. Um, it's a very simple view master card. There are three images behind the wheel, and you literally just turn the wheel to view the images. Um, very basic, very straightforward. But then I decided to do another video and I did this one. So just to show you, you can do all sorts of things with this. And this one's really sweet. I made one for my niece's, uh, my great niece's birthday last last month. Um, anyway, um, so you can do whatever you want with it. You know, you can make it whichever way you want. But it's very easy to do. So I'm going to keep it really simple to try and keep the video short. The project notes are typed up. They will go on site. If you don't have any of the dies or punches, I have given you everything you need on the back sheet, all the templates you need on the back sheet. And as ever, full instructions on step by step how you do everything. Okay, right. So I'll quickly take you through everything that you need. I'm trying to keep this video really short so it'll upload quick. 14.8 centimetre square card, 15 centimetre, whichever you want. 14.5 uh, piece of backing paper to go on there. Two 14 cm circles. Okay, ignore the hole in that one for the moment. One's just a blank. Okay, the other one is your Viewmaster disc. Okay, so cut out the circles. I mean, on the templates I've given you, I've given you the actual cut out one. So you, if you're using the templates, just do that. Um, but if not, when you're positioning your die to cut this out, I'll give you all of the instructions on the thing. Um, make sure it's not too close to that circle. It's too close to the centre, sorry. So you kind of balance it between the edge and the centre. Okay, so that's the two bits there. You need to put a hole exactly in the centre of both of those two. And in actual fact, the way I build this, in the middle of the paper as well, which I haven't done yet, so I'll have to do that in a bit. Um, so find your centre. The easiest way to do that is to set your compass up. You, it's a 14 cm circle, which you'll figure out by reading the things. So if you set your compass, if you've got one, uh, if you put the point on the on the zero line and span it out to the seven centimetre line, you can then play around until you're at the point where when you spin the compass round it doesn't go off the edge of the page that's how you know the center but if you're actually doing it by compass it's probably easier um because you've already got the center hole in then uh there are various ways that's just the way i do i mean there's probably an easier way that i haven't figured out right so i'm just gonna while well, i've remembered that i need to do it i'm just gonna put the hole in the center of here as well with me poker chill so i know it's done ready for later as you'll see I kept my fingers well out of the way right so that's that done you also need three little tiny images that you're going to cut out with your five centimeter die or you're going to use the template I've given you plus you need to create a frame from a five the five centimeter and the next size up I've done a scalloped one if you've got the dies you can too but if you haven't I'll give you just a plain one in the project notes okay right and you need a greeting if you want one yeah you also need to punch out two little circles they're about 1.5 these i think um that i use to turn the disc with okay right i'm going to rip through this as quick as i can because i'm determined it's not going to take all night to upload this to youtube again right so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put the little brad and it is a brad if i call it an eyelet i know it's not an eyelet it is a brad because that's why i'm doing this video again because i kept calling it an eyelet even though i know it's not so it's a brad it's definitely a brad right put your brad in and hold to hold the two discs together i'm opening up the legs and i'll probably regret doing that later uh, i'm just looking for my repositionable glue glue tape thing right so i've obviously decided where my sort of first image is going to be because of the paper in the background has got the writing decide what your first image is i mean it doesn't really matter right put a bit of repositionable glue in the hole stick your image down just be careful when you turn the slider not to rip it off again right the second image unless you're really 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 clever you'll never get in the right position yeah unless it's a fluke 
but you see what I've done there sorry make sure that you know where the top is because you don't want to spin around and then have your images on a slant all your images need to be top to bottom you see what I'm saying if I lift that up can you see yeah you see that yeah okay I'll show you in a minute anyway right but you never you know you'd be really really lucky if you get that second image in the right place right quickly take the brad off again actually how weird is that that almost did almost you just reposition that one i usually have the biggest gap between the um the first and the second image but i haven't this time it's between the second and the third other than that they seem okay right so obviously what you need to do now is stick them down firmly because you don't want them moving about okay so the easiest way to do it is once again stick your two circles together with your brad you might end up needing a new brad because you open and close this one so many times it gets more and more difficult to get it through the hole right so peel off you know it's in the right place just make sure your circle doesn't move the, the best way that I find to do this I always use tacky glue when I'm doing any kind of construction stuff like this because you know it's going to stick down all the edges I'll just zippy zippy I'm doing my usual zigzaggy around the edges so that I know all my edges are going to be covered and not stick up and impede the mechanism right I don't know if you can see what I've done there right just make sure I put it up the right way again Right, that's one. Lift it off and stick it down underneath. Number two. I'm trying to be so quick and you guarantee I'll make a mess because I'm trying to be quick so it doesn't take forever to upload to YouTube. Right, I'm literally, I don't know how to to fast forward the, the videos and things yet because I haven't been doing them very long as you know. Um, I mean I've seen them on uh, YouTube where they fast forward over things and that and where they put little notes on the video I don't know how to do that yet so unfortunately if I make a mistake I just have to do the video again um, which becomes a bit tedious when you're on like making the same card over and over which is why I took a break before I had another go at making this one and why I've changed the backing papers and the images and things right last one nearly there don't take long to put it together because I've got everything cut out ready. Um, I just you just gotta really make sure that these images are stuck flat underneath this disc and that they're all the right way up. Right. Okay, cookie. Now I'm just gonna flatten these out and now I'm gonna have to flatten my disc out because I made it all work, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. Okie cokey. Where am I? There. There we go. Back to the beginning. Right, so once you've done that, the next bit you're going to do is a bit tricky. Because what you want to do is glue all of this bit. Again, do the same thing. Stick it down around the edges because you don't want this moving as people are turning the, the master disc around. So this is the, the plain card the plain circular card at the back this is going to stick to your backing paper I hate hurrying things but I must admit that sort of five six seven eight nine hours that it takes uh, YouTube to upload my videos is putting me off doing them so I'm trying to speed through this uh, to see if there's any difference if I um, do try and do shorter videos. Though I know there isn't. The first one was 17 minutes. The second one was 9 minutes. So almost half. And it still took, the second one still took 5 hours. So it's not going to. But anyway, I, would de I was determined to redo this video. So hey ho. Actually all I'm doing here is just um, sticking, the, sticking the disc down properly to the um, backing paper and then I'm going 
going to put the straighten my disc out a bit from where I bent it to get underneath. Straighten the brad out a bit and then put it back together again. I say you might end up doing two brads because you open and close this little brad so much it ends up getting really warped so it's quite hard to get it to go back where you want it right and if it's too bent it pushes your circles out of alignment that's it right so that is going to go on there i've got a little pencil mark on the end corner there that i just want to rub off right that is going to go on the front of there, so I'm just going to do that with my double-sided tape because it's only paper that I'm sticking down and because I've put the brad through the backing paper the paper isn't actually supporting the weight of the disc, the brad is. Um, so it's not a problem just doing around the edge of this backing paper even though there was stuff hanging off the front of it. I've showed you this tip before but as I'm going to do it anyway because I always do it I might as well show you again in case you haven't seen the other two videos um, if you're using double sided tape the easiest way to position your piece of paper or your whatever it is you're sticking down with a double sided tape is just remove a little bit of the, the, the corner of the backing papers opposite corners um, and, and just stick them out so that when you look from the other side you can actually grab them check your card because i've done this before as well check your cards the right way up before you stick it down send to your backing paper just put your finger on the corners and then hold it down while you peel the rest of the backing paper out uh, the carrier paper out right nearly there right okay so now oh, i'm finished with that i'll just get that out of my way um, right your frame for your just to make sure this glue is down as well i use tiny glue as i say for anything sort of construction where there's this particular if there's moving parts because you've got a, a much better adhesion with glue than you have with tapering as or well, double sided tape on fiddly bits right see if i can get this in exactly the right position sorry if my head's in the way right. that's just to bring their eye towards the image right and i'm just going to stick my happy birthday down there uh yeah i'll stick it on the paper on a sticky pad as ever if i'm using sticky pads i always reach for me tweezers makes things a bit easier like that fingers and this back and paper stuff doesn't gel very well right make sure I've got it the right way up before I stick it down there 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 as you can see I hadn't decided where that was going until the very last moment right last thing to do these two discs these two little discs we punched out are to help the person you are giving the card to to be able to turn the Viewmaster disc around easier so all I've done is I've glued half of put glue on half of it because I'm going to pop it under here and then I'm going to stick this one on the top of it and it gives them something to use to turn the disc with and if this video hasn't worked, you're getting stuck with the first one with the mistakes in. Because I've had one in the middle that didn't work as well, which was when I did the cute gnome card. There we go. Right, so we're done. Hopefully it's all worked. Uh, still 14 minutes. There we go. I know my hand's in the way. I can't do it any other way, sorry. There we go. So there's your simple view master card.